Shortly after today's show, me and the rest of the crew here at Get Up DC will be joining the Still Standing Virtual Meetup, a celebration of breast cancer survivors and thrivers. Starting with the first season of this show, it's been our honor to take part in this yearly event and it's something that I specifically look forward to. Sponsored by Adventist Healthcare, today's panel features speakers who have persevered in their battles with the disease, like WSA 9's own Kristen Bursett Harris, herself a two-time breast cancer thriver, also featured author Vanessa Antrim, who will be discussing her book chronicling her breast cancer survival story. Medical professionals will be joining to share much needed information on early detection, treatments, aftercare, and the symptoms of support that are in place. Right now, there are currently more than three and a half million breast cancer survivors in the United States. Other than skin, breast cancer is the most common form in American women with an average risk of 13% of development in a lifetime. This means one in eight women will fall victim to it. While rates of development are close to even among the different ethnic groups, much like we've seen through the emergence of COVID, breast cancer hits marginalized communities particularly hard. And just like with COVID, there are a number of factors that play into this. Environment, nutrition, a lack of time for self-care due to the pressures of daily life, and a lack of access to basic health care services, resulting in missed checkups and the loss of personal knowledge that comes with them. Now, this is why it's so important that we celebrate and thank survivors who come forward and tell their stories, and the dedicated doctors, nurses, and healthcare professionals who use their personal time to raise awareness about prevention and treatment. By the way, if you want to help, you can donate to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation or you can get involved with them. Create a fundraiser of your own. Through their research, we may one day beat this thing. And wouldn't you want to be a part of that?